founded in 2011, uh, actually in memory of my daughter who had rescued this pony. Um, and she was a bit of a feral, neglected pony. Trained her and uh, rode her, showed her, and we lost Isabel in 2011 in a car accident. Quinn, who's a good friend of Isabel's, and many other sort of friends and family came together and started the rescue. Since then, we've rescued uh, well over 20 ponies, probably about 25. Uh, we have 11 of them in foster homes, nine on site at our rescue near Cambridge. We want to keep acting locally to help ponies in need. We have a huge volunteer program. We have over 60 volunteers on our roster, so it becomes a place where young people can interact with ponies without the pressure of riding or anything like that, where they just come and look after them, rehabilitate them, because so many of them are frightened, scared, or in poor health. And then maybe in the future, we think about acting a little more nationally on some of the wild pony herds, and beyond that, maybe. This is the wind dancer, Isabel's pony. Yep. She is just a little Appaloosa pony. I don't think she's any registered breed. Perhaps she's most like the breed called Pony of the Americas. Okay. And um, we add the pink and blue. You add the pink and blue. How do you do that? Bingo dappers. Bingo That's Quinn's dappers. job. <laughs> Fantastic.